This is Saints and Holy People with EWTN Great Britain. Today's focus is on the feast day of Our Lady of Walsingham. The story of the Walsingham Shrine begins in Saxon times. The Lady of the Manor was taken in spirit to Nazareth in the Holy Land, shown the house where the Annunciation took place and asked by Our Lady to build a replica in the village of Walsingham. She was promised that whoever seeks my help there will not go away empty-handed. The simple wooden house that she built soon became the focus of special devotion to Our Lady. The holy house was later encased in stone to protect it from the elements. The Annunciation is the first joy of Our Lady, when God became man and dwelt amongst us. The message of Walsingham is joy. In 1153, the Augustinian canons founded a priory to care for the spiritual needs of the pilgrims. Their magnificent priory church was added in the 15th century. Only the ruin of the Priory Arch, often referred to as the Lonely Arch, remains. Walsingham became one of the foremost shrines of medieval Christendom, alongside Jerusalem, Rome and Santiago de Compostela, with Walsingham being the only one devoted to the Mother of God. In 1340, the Slipper Chapel was built at Houghton St Giles, a mile outside Walsingham. This was the final station chapel on the way to Walsingham. It was here that pilgrims would remove their shoes to walk the final holy mile to the shrine barefoot. Erasmus, the Dutch scholar, visited Walsingham in 1513 and was impressed by the splendor of the shrine. He wrote, when you look in, you would say it is the abode of saints. So brilliantly does it shine with gems, gold and silver. Our Lady stands in the dark at the right side of the altar. A little image, remarkable neither for its size, material or workmanship. This was soon to come to an end. Henry VIII ordered the dissolution of the monasteries and in 1538, the priory was closed. The Holy House burned to the ground and the statue of Our Lady taken to London to be destroyed. In 1896, Miss Charlotte Boyd bought the Slipper Chapel, which has seen centuries of secular use. She devoted herself to its restoration. The statue of the mother and child was based on the design of the original statue a design found on the medieval seal of Walsingham Priory, an imprint of which is in the British Museum. The first Mass since the Reformation was offered in the Slipper Chapel on the 15th of August 1934, and a few days later, Cardinal Francis Bourne led a pilgrimage of 10,000 people to the chapel and declared it to be the Catholic National Shrine of Our Lady. Prayer for England. O Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our most gentle Queen and Mother, look down in mercy upon England thy dowry, and upon us all who greatly hope and trust in thee. By thee it was that Jesus our Saviour and our hope was given to the world, and he has given thee to us that we might hope still more. Plead for us, thy children, whom thou didst receive and accept at the foot of the cross, O sorrowful mother. Intercede for our separated brethren, that with us, in the one true fold, they may be united to the Supreme Shepherd, the Vicar of thy Son. Pray for us all, dear mother, that by faith, fruitful in good works, we may all deserve to see and praise God, together with thee in our heavenly home. Amen. 
You have been listening to Saints and Holy People from our studio in Walsingham. God bless you. Goodbye.